I believe a demonstration on the superiority of guns is in order. Ah. Uh, oh, this dude has gats sitting behind his table. What kind of gangster office is this? I don't think so. Oh, whoa. Oh, no. Hello, everybody. Grace Joe Blaze, and welcome to a game called Kindergarten. So kindergarten is like a Groundhog's Day meets, I don't know what this is, like the Day of the Tentacle? I get a very, very strange Day of the Tentacle feeling here. If you don't know, this game is probably the most insane, violent kindergarten game you've ever seen in your entire life. If you're squeamish, I'm sorry. If you're not squeamish, prepare to be amazed. So every day is Monday. We have to go to class over here. We have these apples down here. This is like our actions for things that we could do. We've got a sad little derpy piggy bank, as well as the circle of pain and suffering that we draw to uh, summon Cthulhu. I think we can click on different things here. There we go. Press down to take money. Press up to put money back. Press interact to withdraw. And use the planner to cancel. Okay. So, a lot of the keys are very, very simplistic. I'm, I don't know, I'm gonna take like a dollar or something like that. There we go. All right. So, now I have my money. I have a dollar. You can see, whenever you can interact with something, a little exclamation point pops up there. I don't think that there's anything else in this room. There's a lot of freaking secrets in this game. You have no idea. It looks like we're a young Ace Ventura or something. He's got that little hair flip going on over there. Can I even interact with a bed or anything? All right, I just like to check things out. There's one thing I learned from games like Day of the Tentacle is you have to click on everything. Am I ready to start another day of kindergarten? Of course you are, my son. Go forth and propagate. Welcome, everyone, to kindergarten. And look at the glorious bunch of screw-ups we have today. Over here, we have Batman. Then we have Derpy McDerpstein with the two eyes facing opposite directions. We have some girls that are looking slightly normal, I guess. And then we have Poindexter. First things first, I guess we'll just start to <laughs> Screw off, kid, I'm busy. All right, Bruce Wade, you go to hell. All right, derp, tell me all about it, man. Hi, my friends call me Nugget. Or they would if I had any. Nugget knows no love or friendship since Billy went missing. Or they would if I had any. This guy has no nuggets, would he get castrated? I will be your friend, what happened to Billy? Okay. So, we have five apples. We're gonna have to start using them. How about what happened to Billy? Billy is missing. Poor Nugget misses Billy. But Nugget cannot help him now. It is too late. This is very scary how Nugget talks in the third person. Nugget does not know. Nugget knows who knows. Okay, who knows? Your questions upset poor Nugget. You push too hard. Nugget needs his pills. Oh no. Gulp, much better. What were we talking about? Billy. Who? Oh, God. This is what they do in kindergarten. They feed you pills to erase your memory. I don't know. We were just talking about... I don't know what you're talking about. You're, you're speaking normally now. What's in those pills? What's in those pills? I don't know. The principal gave them to me after I saw something traumatic or something. They're great. The principal gave you pills. You don't remember the trauma. The principal gave you pills. Yep. Is that legal? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you find that suspicious? I do. But he said that's a side effect of the pills. Of course it is. Do you want one? Sure. Enjoy the pill. Take it if you start thinking about Billy too much. Oh my god. No more talking now, shoo. So, we have a pill. I don't know what I can do with it. Let's go talk to this young girl down here. Hey there, cutie. I'm Cindy. Want to be my boyfriend? Uh, Sure. Huh, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> and we'll totally be the cutest couple in school, but first you have to do something for me. Isn't our love enough? Ha 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 ha, that's cute, but no. Who wrote the script on this? It isn't. You're gonna have to prove it to me. And how do I do that? Why? I'm not proving anything to you. How about why? Why? How about because I'm the prettiest, smartest, and nicest girl you'll ever meet? Oh, and modest, too. Yes, does that do it for you? I'm sold, what do I do? Sure, what do I have to do? You see that girl over there? That's Lily. She is by far the ugliest, nastiest hoe you'll ever meet. Okay, I added the hoe part. I may, uh, I may ad lib some of this text every once in a while. I want you to take this gum and stick it in her hair during morning time. Got it? Yeah or no way? Well, the apple's on, yeah, so my money says yeah. Oh, yay, this is gonna be great. She'll finally get what she deserves, just like her brother did for dumping me. 
Come find me for morning time af after you've done it. Is her brother's name Billy? What happened to her brother? You haven't heard he went missing. His disappearance totally stole the thunder from my dog Biscuit going missing. I guess everyone just cares more about him than they do about me. Your dog went missing too? I care about you. Hold on, let's, let's learn about the dog. I brought her here for show and tell, but the janitor said dogs aren't allowed, so he took her. Apparently she escaped from his closet and they couldn't find her. Maybe I could find your dog. Interesting proposal. I do miss Biscuit. The question is, do I love Biscuit more than I hate Lily? Uh, you love Biscuit more. Uh, no, I definitely hate Lily. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Lily is actually a despicable person and her existence bothers me. Don't worry about Biscuit. Just put that gum in her hair during morning time and come talk to me afterward. Oh my god. Put the gum. Whoa, what the hell? Uh, now we have a planner here. Uh, hold on. How the hell do I use it? Whoa, what the crap was that? Whoa, I'm fighting money. Whoa! Oh, sh sh all right. Never mind. Damn it! I wanted to talk to other people. So if you press, if you press the uh, the the enter button, apparently you just find random money. Everyone, head inside for morning time. Good morning, children. It's time for you to pick your buddies for morning time, or you can be sad, pathetic, and alone. As long as you're the best you you can be. Well, thanks, lady. You jackass. Um. Okay. So we have to pick a buddy here. Oh my god, we've got Nugget sitting in a pile of mud. Is this- what the hell is going on over here? What is this? What is this? There's a bunch of items over here. It's like a walkie-talkie, a half-eaten chicken nugget. We got a magnifying glass. Is that a freaking- is that a knife? There's a free- it's like freaking Solid Snake's knife over here. A pile of money and a Magic the Gathering card. Math is good. <laughs> oh, this game! Oh, this game. How about you? You look like you're normal. Dude, you know you're not cool enough to even talk to me, let, him, let alone be my morning buddy. Besides, Monty is going to hook up. Hook me up with a sweet yo-yo. Wow, the people in this classroom are assholes. How about this girl? Oh, I don't really do the whole morning buddy thing anymore. My brother Billy was normally my buddy, but he's missing. All right, ho. Did you just... I sure did. Did you just- oh, you did. You put gum in my hair. That- that's so mean. Cindy put you up to us, didn't she? Well, I don't even care. Leave me alone. Yeah, but you're gonna be my buddy anyway, you bitch. Alright! So, we have Nugget. Hold on, can we talk to the- to the- Oh my god, look at this bouncing breast-a-thon going on over here. Alright. Go find a morning buddy or you'll be an outcast loser like Nugget. Nugget gave me a pill. Oh, dibs! Thank you for bringing this. She just ate it. Thank you for being. Don't worry about it. Teacher will. Oh, oh, oh do whatever. <laughs> now run along and play. New hint unlock. Okay, hold on. I gotta find out what the hell these hints are. Okay, I found the hints. It's in the escape area. This is the hints page. It will fill out as you play the game. All right. You don't need any special items to complete Jerome, Cindy, or the teacher's missions. All right. You need a special item from Cindy before you can start Nugget. Okay. The Nugget. Oh, the teacher will let you look through the cubbies if you give her a pill. Oh, I gave her the pill. Okay. So you need a special item from Jerome and as much money as you can carry to complete Monty's mission, All right? You need to have special items for Monty, Nugget, and Bugs in order to complete Lily's mission. And then you need a special item from the teacher to complete Bugs' mission. Okay. So we gave the teacher the pill and now we can look through the cubbies. Okay, got it. Now our backslash key, there we go. Our backslash key is our planner. It kind of tells us things that happen. Tell Cindy you put the gum in Lily's hair. Okay, first, the first things first. We can look through the cubbies. I'm guessing these are them. Oh, I want to check out the knife. Hey, don't go snooping around there. You know what? I don't really care. Do what you want. Yes! That's what I'm talking about! All right, so we've got the knife. Got a pile of money. This is Monty's cubby. Naturally has money in it. Okay. Um... Let's leave that there for right now. Hold on. Can you go back to this? Oh, you can. Okay, good. So let's find out what everything is because I don't know if you're allowed to take everything or not. This is Cindy's cubby. There's a Monster Mun card in there. Uh, okay, let's leave that. I just want to know what everything is. What is the knife doing here? This is Bugs Cubby. That's a knife. Getting caught with this would get me in serious trouble. Oh, that's freaking awesome though. Uh, I'm going to leave that. we got a magnifying glass. This is Lily's cubby. There's a magnifying glass. She probably is using it to look for clues about her missing brother. Man. Oh, man. This is so hard to choose. This is Nugget's cubby. There appears to be a nugget of some sort. All right. And then we've got... 
This is Jerome's cubby. There's a strange device in here. Okay, so out of all this, let's go back over to the hints thing real quick so that we can look. All right, screw this. I, I don't know what to do. We're taking the knife. You can get in serious trouble. All right, bugs, you scumbag. Freaking knife belongs to me now, baby. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna cut some fools. Okay, now we need to go over here and talk to Cindy and fill her in on the dastardly DG. Did you do it? Oh my gosh, you totally did. Wow, what happened? What did she say? Did she cry? I bet she cried. Yes, Cindy. She cried, you sick whore. I'm so happy. Now you can be my morning buddy, which also makes you my boyfriend. As my boyfriend, you get the honor of playing house with me. I'll meet you over at the dollhouse. I'll, I'll see you soon, honey. <laughs> honey, oh my god, this game is so messed up. Okay. So now it says, play with Cindy in the dollhouse, I think. Play with Cindy. Okay, play with play house with Cindy. Let's go over here. Welcome home, husband. I hope work wasn't too hard because you're going to be making dinner tonight. What the hell? Why do I have to make dinner? I think I left something in the car. Because I've been so busy maintaining the house and I sniff, sniff. Have you been drinking again? What the hell? <laughs> no, honey, I'm just tired. Yes, dear. Or wait, what? Yes, dear. Well, at least you're being honest with me. And more importantly, yourself. You have a problem. I don't have a problem. Oh, you don't have a problem. Silly me. I must have imagined the car accident you caused and the months of therapy I needed. But no, you definitely don't have a problem. I don't. If you have a problem admitting your drinking problem, then how can I trust you to admit your love to me? You can't. Okay, then. I guess that's it for us. We're done playing. Oh, shit. I don't want you as my boyfriend anymore. We're through, though. Yep, just like that. Now go away. Crap. Well, that was quick. Hold on. Let me see if I can go back here. Don't talk to me anymore. We're through. Fine. Well, I screwed that up. Um, why the hell do you think I would want to be your morning buddy? Good point. All right. Well... How about, how about this? I got a knife now, baby. How about this? Dude. All right, fine. I don't have a yo-yo. I guess we're this thing's. Well, who is this again? You want to be my morning buddy? I got time for that nonsense. So unless you're buying or selling something, get lost. I want to buy something. I want to sell something. How about I want to buy something? Here's what, here's what's for sale. Got a yo-yo, a screwdriver, cigarettes, or never mind. How much is the yo-yo? Yo-yos. Don't know what it is about these things, but Jerome loves them. You can have it for a dollar. Ooh, okay. Deal. Dollar. Pleasure doing business with you. All right, I don't need anything else. Hold on. Now we have the yo-yo. Let's go over here to Jerome. You mean this yo-yo, mud sucker? Oh, come on. He told me he was going to save that for me. You can have it if you'll be my buddy. Yeah, you little scumbag. Thanks, chump. I guess you haven't learned how to tell time yet. Morning is pretty much over. Oh. What a bunch of bull crap. Oh, it's because I had the last apple. Okay, kids, that's the lunch bell. Let's go to the cafeteria for a nutritious meal. I hear we're having slop today. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> Assignment failed. Crap. All right, I guess we'll start talking about it. You're nowhere near cool enough to sit with us. Get lost. Wow. God, this place, man. What the hell? Sorry, sweetie. We're through. Better luck tomorrow. She knows, too. It's like they know that tomorrow's is a new day. I figured you'd be seeing me around. Now, slop is no good, and I don't think anyone is brave enough to try a biscuit from the janitor. Dumb old man can't even spell it right. I want to sell something. What have you got? Oh, I had a knife. All right. Well, never mind, I guess. What the crap? How about you? This is Lily, right? Please don't sit with me. I don't want to talk to anyone until they find my brother. God, you are so whiny. One brother goes missing and everyone has a freaking conniption. What is this? Oh, so is this different from this? This is. No one ever sits with poor Nugget. Nugget does not have any friends. I'm sorry, Nugget. We've got, we've got old man Witherspoon over here with the biscuit train. Biscuit balls, get your biscuit balls here. Get them while they're hot. You spelt biscuit wrong. Biscuit balls, or I don't want, what is a biscuit ball? My own recipe. Came up with it after a little incident happened recently. What's in them? How much are... What incident? Well, you see, that little girl's dog. Well, I told her she couldn't have him in school. So I brought him to my closet until her mom could pick her up. Yeah, her mom never picked that dog up. Oh, mother of Jesus. We're eating dog balls. Little thing bit me and, well, he escaped. Yeah, he escaped. Are you eating the dog? No, nonsense. In fact... 
That little doggy's name was Biscuit. It's just a cruel irony. Just forget about it. Oh my god. It's the recipe I came up with myself. I have it written down on a piece of paper in my box in my closet. Now, if you ain't gonna buy one, skedaddle. How much are they? They're a buck a piece. A dollar? I do say so. And I'm sure if your little friend Cindy would he 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 love to try one. Why would Cindy love to try one? Just a just a hunch I have. Now go ahead and give her one. I'm sure she'll love it. I don't have a dollar. Stop being creepy about it. I'm always creepy. Just give her a damn biscuit. Did you drug it or something? I don't have any money, man. I'm not that kind of janitor. This is something else. Something a bit more entertaining. Forget it, you scumbag. I don't have a dollar. All right, lady. Are those growths on your face? I don't even want to know. Look at this. Look at this room. It's like just concrete and sadness. How you doing there, sonny? Want uh, some new tasty, nutritious slop? You know what? Can I go to the bathroom? Oh, I'm not allowed to let any of you kitties out in the hall during lunch. Maybe you could do me a little something if you wanted me to look the other way. Oh, all right. I seem to have misplaced my glasses. These old eyes can't read the menu without them. See if you can find a pair lying around and I'll let you out. Uh, all right. I'll see what I can find. A pair of glasses? This guy's wearing his glasses. Can we take them? What can I do for you? Uh, I want to buy something. Hold on. Salad, McGlob's, si what the hell? This is some pretty good junk food. It comes with a Monster Mun card. $2.50, holy crap. All right, hold on. Let's see what else is around here. Oh, we got a trash bin, boys. It's a garbage can. I'm not going to dig through it to find stuff. Oh, come on, man. There could be a pair of glasses in there. You never know, man. How about this door? Hey, stop. You can't leave until lunch is over. All right, you little, you little scumbag. All right. Um, hold on. Let's try this real quick. Oh, I'm not allowed. Okay. Well, that is there anything else I can do? Well, that mopey little girl has been paying me to let her out. I don't see why you can't get the same deal. Oh, two dollars. Okay. Holy crap. All right. Well, I guess we'll just hold on. I guess we'll just take our slop. Go grab it. There you go, buddy boy. Don't be shy about coming back for seconds. Plenty of slop to go around. I'll bet there is, you sick hoe. All right, so let's go back over here. Okay, we still can't do the biscuit ball thing. I guess we can sit down, maybe like this. There's a Monster Monk card on the table. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, we found a Monster Monk card. Hey, all right. Well, what do we do now? All right, so back over here. It's a garbage can. I'm not going to dig through it. Oh, we can throw away the slop. All right. Well, what does that do? We just used up one of our apples. Oh, I know. I'll bet it's a thing where you have to use up all your actions. Yeah, because you can't. Okay, I don't have any money. So we have to go back over here. How you doing there, son? Want more tasty, nutritious slop? Got anything else? Well, the menu is kind of restricted right now. What with the new health regulations? I have a chocolate bar, but it's pretty expensive. $10! It's all part of the government wanting you kids to be less fat. You poor things are wasting away before my very eyes. Ten dollars for a chocolate bar. How do you find how do you find this much money? All right, hold on. Let's just get more slop. Get some more slop. You want seconds? There you go. Come back if you want more. All right, let's go back over here. Let's dump the slop out. Bloop. There we go. There we go. Okay, good. Okay, kiddos. That's the recess bell. Go burn off the delicious slop you just ate. New hint unlocked. Ooh, a new hint. Okay, hold on. Let's go find out what this is. Go over here. There we go. All right. We got... Uh, oh, wow. There's a lot of new stuff. Bugs, Monty, and Lily should all be eliminated during... Oh, my God. Bugs, Monty, and Lily should all be eliminated. You need to buy three items from Monty before morning time. Okay. Jerome will talk to you during morning time if you give him a yo-yo. All right. So, we did all that. So now we're in recess. Um, what does this girl say? Go play while you're still young and thin. All right. Well, I that's a thing. So we can play on these, I guess. Oh, whoa. What the hell was that? Oh, my. Oh, they make sad little sounds. All right. How about you, jerk mo? What can I do you for? I want to buy something. I want to sell something. I still can't sell the damn knife, huh? What do you have? Do you have anything new for sale? A Monster Mun card. How much is it? The Holy Knight card. 
He's pretty powerful in the world of Monster Mon. $12! God, oh, Jesus! All right, never mind. Jerome, listen, don't bother me, kid. I'm trying to figure this out. Figure what out? It's this riddle about these stupid duck things. Apparently, if you shake them in the right order, something is supposed to happen. What's the riddle? Go twice the duck that's furthest south, then two blue before red, after return to the first duck, then blue. Oh, shit. Get it wrong, and you're dead. Uh, hold on, boys. I gotta write some of this down. Okay, I think I've got it. I think I have an idea anyway. Um, uh, don't worry, boys. I have- I freaking watched Die Hard with a Vengeance. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, good luck solving that. I don't want to get involved now that I think about it. Okay. So the way it reads- solve the duck riddle. The way it reads, it should be two yellow. I think? Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. One. Two. Two blue. Right? Okay, one. Whoa! What? Okay, two blue. It's working this time. Okay, so it should be one red. What the hell did I do wrong last time? One yellow, and then one blue. Oh, it worked! Yes! Yes! Screw you! Screw you, game! Solving the riddle seems to have caused a monster mon card to appear. Frick yes! New hint unlocked. Ooh, a new hint. Um, we did it, boys! We freaking, we freaking did it. What did I do wrong the first time? I did the same damn thing. Cyclops duckling can only be found by solving Jerome's riddle. Okay, cool. So we solved the riddle. We got the Cyclops duckling. We got some other stuff going on over here. Here's Lily. I know he did it. I don't know why, but I know he did it. All right. We've got, what in the hell is this? This is a statue of the principal. There's a red glint in its eyes. I'll bet we can take the jewels out and take them to our house. We got over here, Cindy. Cindy again. We're through. Go away. All right, ho. I ain't got time for you either. Is that a pit to the underworld in the middle of the sandbox? Hold on here. Oh god, I almost fell into it. Hold on. Let me talk to this guy real quick. What's this guy's name? Is this Bugs over here? Get out of here. I'm busy. You don't look busy. I am. Well, what's the point? It's no fun being a bu being a bully when no matter how many kids you beat up, my dad still isn't coming back. Oh, a little bit sentimental there. I miss everything about him, even the way he used to drink excessively. Oh, I'm gonna walk away now. Okay, I think it just said, it say a new hint was unlocked. Hold on. Uh, oh, what is this? Bugs will give you the shroom turtle if you give him either a flask or a breathalyzer at recess. Okay. What the hell? Um, how much more of this? How much more of this? Oh, before we actually know, well... Yeah, let's go talk to Nugget real fast. I was gonna say, I wonder if there's any, if we can go this way. Behold, the Nugget Cave. It is very deep and very dark. What secrets does it hold? Do you want to find out? Yes. Whoa! Whoa! Jumping in a hole you can't do the bottom of is generally considered to be a bad idea. Son of a bitch! All right, we had to do everything over again. I go ahead and cut that out. We can't go that way. So, let's go over here. We're gonna get this hint unlocked one more time. Uh, you don't look busy. All right, a bit sentimental. He's gonna drink. We have to get a breathalyzer or a flask. Go over here to Nugget. Behold the Nugget Cave. No, just trust me, you'll love it. I don't think I will. No one has ever not loved the Nugget Cave. I'm not going, period. Oh, you'll go. One way or the other, you'll go. Oh, can I, can I stab this guy or something? Man, this freaking game, man. This freaking game. Go play while you're still young and thin. I've already played. Oh, I think I figured something out too. It looks like you can, I think you can hit enter. Yeah. And you trade in your, um, you trade in your actions for money. Is there anything like, oh shit, there's something behind here, boys. There's a monster, mo this is what I'm talking about, man. Day of the tentacle stuff here. You gotta look everywhere, man. New hit unlocked. That's what I'm talking about. All right, what do we got now? Literally, grass is hidden behind the playground. What? Oh, I'll bet it's weed. I'll bet it's weed. Like grass is in marijuana. All oh, this game. This game is twisted, man. All right, 
Let's look everywhere else real quick. In fact, you know what? It's just like Dungeons and Dragons. You guys ever heard of the the barrel of apples theory? You know what I'm saying? If the if the friggin dungeon master tells you about a room and he describes a barrel of apples, everyone's gonna check it out just because he took the time to describe it. There's a mound over here of sand. Oh, it didn't work. I was gonna say, I'll bet if I checked out the mound of sand, it would do something. All right, I think we've done everything. Can we talk to Jerome again? I can't believe you solved it. I'll have to figure it out faster next time. Yeah, that's right, you scumbag, you piece of garbage. All right, can we sell anything to you yet? I wanna buy something, I wanna sell something. Man, we can't sell any of these Monster Mon cards. I wanna buy something. Here's what we have for sale. Select Monster Mon. Oh, it's the Holy Knight card, it's like 12 bucks. All right, screw that. All right, what can I do for you? I don't want anything. All right, so let's go spend the rest of our money. There we go, buck 50. That's the bell. Let's all head back inside for show and tell. Oh crap, the only thing I have is like a knife. I hope everyone had a good recess. Let's get all let's all get ready for show and tell. Why don't you go first? What did you bring? <laughs> I brought this knife, ho! What is that? Oh my no no no, you aren't allowed to have knives in school. That's very dangerous. Go to the principal's office right now. Okay. Oh! It's like a it's like a young Morgan Freeman. I can't believe you would bring a knife to school. A gun, maybe, but not a knife? Come on, lesson learned, I guess? Is that a blood stain underneath the carpet? Oh, this game. I believe a demonstration on the superiority of guns is in order. Ah! Uh, oh, this dude has gats sitting behind his table. What kind of gangster office is this? I don't think so. Oh! Whoa! Oh, no! It's probably best. Not to advertise that you have a weapon at school. You died. <laughs> restart room or restart home? If we restart the room, can we do anything different? Oh, we can. Why don't you go first? Oh, okay, we could do like a monster mun card instead of the knife. All right. So doing the gun is not a good thing. Let's do... um, Which one? Let's do this one. This was the last card we picked up, isn't it? A Monsterman card. Oh, come on. You have to be more creative. We're going to skip you. Who's next? Okay, so that's the built-in thing of how you can actually, like, get through the day. Well, children, that was a fun little show and tell. Oh, there's the bell. Hope you all had a fun day today. See you tomorrow. Okay, Madam Busty Steen. That's right, kids. Everyone file out from another day of freaking insanity and murder. Insanity and murder. A day completed. We got the Ogglebop card, the Cyclops duck. Oh, the Ogglebop golem. Ogglebop golem. The Cyclops duckling and literally grass. Yeah. We earned a buck 50 and our piggy bank went up to five bucks. All right. So we, we made a net gain of 50 cents Monday again. Oh, yeah, baby. Look. Yay. This is the Cyclops duckling ling 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 card. It's not a species or anything. It's just a duckling that had its left eye pecked out by a bigger duckling. That's disgusting. We've got this over here. This is the Oogle Golem card. No one knows what an Oogle Bop really is, but everyone's too afraid to ask him. Hmm. Yes, of course they are. And over here we have, this is the literally grass card. It's literally grass. That's all. Maybe it is literally grass. Maybe I was reading too far into it. All right, boys. I think that's going to be it for right now. We have discovered many secrets within the realm of kindergarten, including how to give our teacher drugs and how to get shot in the face by the principal. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more and we can unlock more secrets, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>